crown jewel within the crown jewel, the open weight Mundials finals. No introduction needed. Shanji Hibero against Hodger Gracie. In 2006, these guys met. Shanji came out on top in the final seconds, stealing victory from Hodger with seconds left. 2007, Hodger Gracie won, but Shanji was nowhere to be found. So Hodger needs to avenge this loss, and this is the first time they've seen each other since the 2006 Openweight Finals. This is the best of the best. I can't wait to get this party started. This is considered the big one, the Openweight, uh, considered pretty much the most prestigious uh, title in the, in the World Championships. This should be an exciting match. Uh, Sanji is a much more tactical player. And uh, Hodgers uh, the uh, look can always look for finishes. So let's see what happens and uh, see who comes out on top. Now Hodgers the defending 2007 World Openweight Champion, but uh, he didn't face Shanji. Yeah, he's probably been itching to get uh, his revenge uh, on Shanji because he was winning that match and then lost in the last uh, few seconds. And last year he just walked his way through, right through everyone. So we'll see what he brings to the table this year. Both gold medalists so far in their respective weight divisions, but this is the absolute of the absolute. I gotta tell you, the whole stadium is waiting for this matchup. Everybody's waiting for this, including myself. Yeah, I'm sure everybody has goosebumps in the stadium. It's pretty. Now, Sean, you gonna try for an immediate takedown? Yeah, I think he's definitely gonna play on the feet. I, uh, Hodger's got a good grip over the back. He's gonna try to get his elbow in good position. Now, so do, do you try and force a top game when somebody has such a good bottom game? Um. That is a good question, but I believe Zanji's is confident in his top game and confident that he can try to smash through or pin Hodger's legs, maybe get to a half guard. He's a real tactical player, and he'll win this by one advantage if he has to. Yeah. Hodger's got an outside rushing grip but with the collar there. So he's in nice position. Hodger has a nice position, but he's sitting a little heavy on his heels. Shanji's just a little defensive grip. Yeah, he's... Sanji wants to get his arm out of there. That's not a good position for your arm. You, you, there's a lot, a lot of uh, uh, trips. Make there's the belt grip. Yes. He's going to intentionally step out of bounds to bring it back to the center. Yeah. I don't think he liked that grip at all. I didn't like it if he didn't. <laughs> and I'll continue not liking it for as long as he didn't like it. <laughs> now to jock in for some position here. Hodgers... Judo, like we spoke about before, look, looks great, but uh, he still needs to be careful. So Shanji uh, has trained with uh, some Olympic medalists, and uh, you know I, I know he likes a, this out, uh, kind of a sweeping outside single off that one lapel grip. So Hodge needs to watch that leg. He's got a good sleeve grip too. So. When he's executed it perfectly in, in a lot of his matches that got him here. Yeah. Hodge, yeah see, that's a wise move by Hodge. I like that he's in a try to sit to where he really wants to, where he really can open up the game here in his, in his guard. If he can get to the close guard, I think that's where he really wants to be. Hodger, uh, Zanji does a nice job to push to the half guard. If he gets all the way into half, Hodger's half guard, he'll get an advantage. He's not there yet, though. Hodger's got such a strong quarter guard shin across. Yeah, there's almost close guard. That's what I think... That's what I think he's looking for. I think that's what he should have looked for. He's immediately going to start attacking the neck. And he's probably, I'd like to see him free that. <laughs> Beautiful Omoplata. That was an excellent Omoplata. Shanji's in trouble here. Now, I'd like to see Hodger underhook that far leg right there. If he put that left foot underneath Shanji's far leg, he could be in serious trouble there. Roll to an arm lock? Yeah, you can roll to an arm lock. You can put a lot of pressure on the shoulder, but he's managed to put uh, Zanji down to his knees, which is where you want a guy. And uh, you don't want that knee across. No, he might turn a sweep out of this, though. He might be able to get a sweep out of this. No points yet. He's got to put Sanji on his back. Needs to turn, and he's. Yeah, this turns into a scramble. Uh, back to neutral on the feet. Yeah, 
Not zero zero with zero advantages. Now, now we scored an advantage. They did give him an advantage. Yeah, so they just okay. gave him an advantage for the for that sweep. It's a good call. Padre going with a great grip here. He's, he's got Sanji's sleeve. He's trying to pull it across the body, almost into a, a two-on-one or outside rushing in wrestling, what they call it. Um, but uh, Sanji's doing a good job of defending on the cross-collar grip there. When we're 345 in, so we've got 615 left to play. Now, this is an open ball game. Yeah, I, there's a good grip release. They both seem a little bit tentative to engage. Yeah, both not wanting to make any mistakes, I think. In this match, at least, they both seem to be a little counterplaying. Yeah, right now, I'll wait for the opponent to make a move and potentially make a mistake. Yep, I agree. Hodgers, uh, he's taking the, the grip fighting to Zanja here, even though Zanja's being a little defensive. So this, would, this could be called for passivity on Zanja's part. He's, he's not really doing anything offensive. He's just defending. He's walking backwards. Let's get this party started. <laughs> uh, the ref could call a passivity here. I'd, I'd call passivity versus, versus for Sanji. Uh, you know, in, in judo they have much different rules, but, but this is right away uh, a stalemate position that... Zanji's just trying to defend. There's a beautiful attempt by Hodger. There's that sweep single I was talking about. Yep. An outside sweep single, and he puts Hodger down. He's two points. So they're going to call it. They're going to bring it back to the center. Yeah, they're going to move it back to the center. Now, if they pull this off with a two-ref slide, I'll be very impressed. I'd be shocked. A two-man slide in the open weight division. There's a third for moral support. <laughs> <laughs> now, tell me, talk to me about these grips here. Where's okay. Shanji at? Shanji, they're taking away the... Now, I believe they might have taken away... Or they're ordering out for pizza, something with the hand gesticulation. <laughs> I don't know, but that was definitely a two-point takedown, correct? I, I would say that it's two points. That they, he, I'm not sure if they're waiting on, a, on, on Zanji to free his arm. Is uh, Hodger had a, a, a Kamora. He's got that single. Is he going to run the pipe? And Same single leg. So they did wave off that takedown. They said, I, I think they believe they had Hodger having control of Zanji's arm in a, in a potential Kimura type position so uh, when a guy's attacking off of the, the, the takedown oftentimes they, won't, they don't give him any points until he defends the potential submission. So it's a product of them going out of bounds. Uh, if it was in the center and he didn't finish the Kimura he would eventually got the takedown points? Right on. If he would have kept Hodger on his, on his back uh, and slipped his arm out of there he would have got two points. Well, they're going to square it back up, and they've got four minutes and 20 seconds left. And it's a uh, even, even zero with one advantage for Hodger for that Omo Plata attack. Well, if I'm Hodger, that's where I'm going to be, even though it's not no points on the board. You don't want Zanja being up by an advantage. Uh, now, are, are they arguing over the points? Are, 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 are they, is uh, Shanji's camp mandating that he gets two for that takedown? Oh, that's possible. It's a, it's a, it's a questionable call. Are they going to give him the points? Are they awarding? No, they're not. 0-0. Zero, zero. In my opinion, that's a two-point takedown. I, I, I would say it definitely could be a two-point. There it is. They, they award. gave it two. Yeah. I think that's a just call. Uh, even if he is on the Kimura and he could stand back up, it was, a, it, was a, it was an offensive movement, and it did get to the match to the floor. Points debates are ever present in the jiu-jitsu tournaments. Uh, yeah, so there's always controversy amongst uh, 
what points are what and uh, who's getting points. And, and it's always subjective. Absolutely. In this case, the takedown points were awarded to Shanji. Two for Haji. And the clock's running out. Yeah, Haji doesn't have a lot of time to work. He's got a good belt grip. With those long arms, it seems that he always gets that belt grip. Yeah, this is a good grip. He could he could try a cross-legged uh, uh, Tomonagi or cross-legged Sumagayashi, which I don't know if that's what he's been trying to set up. He's, uh, he's trying to far side uh, kind of Haraya Sotogari. Oh. And then he, same takedown again. And are they out of bounds? P possibly was his arm free? I think they gave him the points for the takedown. He's going to two. Be, yeah, he's got two. It's going to be four to zero now. That's a difficult comeback. That's a dangerous lead because Sandri's so solid that four points up when he's in your half guard, I, he's going to try to hold Hodger down, not let him have any space to move. And the half guard can be dangerous, but not nearly as dangerous as the half guard. <laughs> <laughs> you think maybe right now he's make for pressure? I think so. I think he's trying to push you on the chest though. He's got Audra's trying to get underneath there. I don't, he's not normally a half guard guy. He's probably looking to maybe get Zanjay's far foot. Uh, but uh, he's no, not normally a half guard super. There he comes. He's trying to get to the top, the far leg. Come to the top, almost looking for a single. Yes, he's got. If he can get Hodge, uh, Sanji's far foot, he's got to go pick up that ankle. He's just trying to get back to the close guard. Yeah. Now should should he be looking for a little bit deeper underhook instead of going to the pants? Should he be higher on the shoulders? I I think he should be higher up on the near the lat. Now he's okay, but he needs to look to get ready to roll Sanji over to the far side. He needs to move, use his knees to move Sanji up higher into the half guard so he can reach that back leg. Now shiny has got that underhook with a collar control, correct? Yeah, he's got a strong... So he can't even for half guard, he can't potentially attack a choke. Correct? Yeah, he could, he could try to start to set up a Bravo choke here. Uh, he's not feeling the lapel though. I, I think Sanji's happy to just be... To ride it out. To, to, to be here, yes. And even if the time permits, oh, Hodger's got a nice collar grip. Ooh, we got a minute and a half to play here. He might be able to turn this over, and he does. Oh, that's two. That was He's back in the game. Great half guard sweep by Hodger using Zanji's lapel around the legs. They're going to call that and bring it right back to the center. We got some super excited fans here in the background cheering their teammate on. We've got. A two-point lead and a minute and 12 seconds to go. I got goosebumps. Hodges got to make this happen. Yeah, he needs to push. He needs to really push. 72 seconds to extract revenge from the last time that he faced Shanji, 2006 World Championships, and he lost in the final seconds. He loses his chance to turn the tables. The final seconds, and he's down by two. I have no idea who that is with that annoying voice in the crowd. <laughs> well, I'm just taking his time putting his belt on. Yeah, maybe putting himself back together. Uh, not only on the outside, but on the inside as well. Getting his head ready for a, a, a crazy 1 minute 20 seconds as he needs to. And Shanji is uh, in the pink camp. He wants to get this party started. <laughs> I recognize those lyrics. <laughs> I guess I'm just a little bit distraught. Yeah. Start Maybe taking advantage of that uh, new dressing time. Yep. Here we go. Two points lead. Zanji's on his bicycle a little bit, running around. He is one minute to go. I just got to make this happen. Close guard, a great place to be for Hodger Gracie. Yeah, I like that strategy. I like that strategy to sit right down on the close guard and really try to get a, uh, a sweep 
or submission attempt. He's, he needs a sweep here. If he sweeps, he's all tied up. And I don't care what you say. The, uh, your weight division is your weight division. But if you lose to a lesser weight opponent, it's got to eat at you. This has got to be imperative for Haji to finish this match on top. Yeah, he's got a great arm drag. This movie does very, very well. He's arm drags Sanji's sleeve across his body. He's making a move to try to take the back or sweep to the far side. A beautiful pendulum sweep. Does he want to underhook this near side leg on our, uh, towards us? He, he could do that, or he's trying. He's just didn't or quite take have, the back. Yeah, he's he's trying to move around to the back. He didn't quite have the the grip on the sleeve that he would have liked. And he's running had, out of time quickly. Yeah, he is running out of time. He, He's just missing that grip on that sleeve. Oh, he is almost to the back. His time is ticking away. This is it. This is where you make it happen or you don't. Yeah. He's trying. He's trying. Zanji's just going to hang on tight. He's got Hoshanji's arm beat across the center line. He's about to Oh, he's got a forearm lock. Oh, he no. Did he tap? Did Shanji tap? I, or was that time? I think time might have expired. I don't know about that. But, 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 but that was a full on arm lock. Woo! Whether time was out or not, if that oh. fight went one more <laughs> second. Now, was he tapping you're... because the time ran out and he heard the buzzer? Or was he tapping because that arm was extended? Yeah, I think uh, I think in his head, he's the only one that's going to know that answer. Woo, man, I got to tell you. <laughs> I got to say, I think, uh, you know, just shortly before this, Zaji's celebrating a little bit too early. You can't celebrate in somebody's... Uh, close guard that, that's as high as level of skill as Hodge. No, you can't. You can't. But take and your I'll arm tell home. You, whether, whether that was him tapping to say, hey, the time ran out, that was him tapping to say, I'm either tapping now or I'm going to tap because the time ran out because any second further and I'm going to actually yeah. tap. Woo! Shanji Ibera, open weight Mundial's champion. There you go. That was a great match. I gotta tell you, tactically, what did Hodge do wrong? If Hodge goes to his close guard, he's got long legs, he's technical, he's strong. I really think he puts the match in the close guard from the very beginning and attacks like he did at the end. It's a different out. It could be a different outcome. So you think he started playing a little too late? And he's gonna take a ride around the stadium. <laughs> his brother Sala there holding him up. Uh, now the crowd is going crazy <laughs> for Shanji. Jacques Ray right there in the front row pumping his fists. I think he enforced his strategy a little bit too late. He sat down to the guard in the opening and he worked some stuff, but but the fact that he, he stayed on the feet a little bit too long uh, allowed Sanji with those two sweep singles to, to come out on top. And congratulations to Sanji Hibero, absolute champion. And hats off to Hodger, what a great performance. Well, I gotta say, I know the line's not gonna be any different. I expect to see them in the open weight finals. I look forward to that really much. Yeah, I really look forward to it and uh, look forward to see what type of uh, uh, new tools they bring to the mat. And I look forward to getting this DVD so I can rewind and I can look at that arm lock again. Yeah. My decision for myself. I'd like to see if he's tapping before the time or after the time. I think it was after the time. I think the ref saw it. But uh, what a great final. Uh, always some controversy. So hopefully next year they can, you know, well, there's a finish and, and these guys can sell it.